Yay, now I win. <laughs> well, hey guys, welcome back to another video. And today I just have an update basically talking about this MOC because a while ago I made a video saying how I can't beat it and how it's basically really hard. But if I continue, we finally reached 400 subscribers on the channel, so yay. So thank you so much for that. It does mean a lot to me for sure. And then after that, we're going to hit 500 subscribers for sure. And as I said before, if we hit 1000 subscribers on the channel, I'll make the Discord. So if you want to see the Discord server, just subscribe to the channel. That's it. Easy like that. But anyway, back to the video. So basically a few days ago I made a video talking about how this MOC is ridiculously harder than usual because instead of beating it under 15 turns you have to beat it under 10 turns like it was harder than usual for sure like it was more of a challenge I would say and I think some players might have a hard time with it and obviously there's some players that can beat this MOC very easily that they can even auto it like if you don't have specific cracks that you will have a much harder time of trying to clear this MOC with 3 stars compared to the other players that have a character that can beat it much faster than you you might struggle a bit but if you have invested cracks and invested cracks that can shred through shields like you should be able to get through this like if you have a very invested in vibe to me like in vibe you can very easily beat this moc with ease because in my situation for one everything i got my bronya from the free fire star selector like i was able to do blade hyper carry on one side and jinglu hyper carry on the second side and the team i use for the first side is Link's blade bronya and so off and the team i use for the second side is fushan jinglu tengyon and pela like for one it was really close because for one i was on legit the last turn but i was able to full clear it thankfully I I gotta be honest, Bronya was such a really good addition for my account. We got two very strong D buffers being Sobolf and Pela, and now two very strong buffers being my Tignon and Bronya now. Like I'm just chilling now because for one, I can go for any DPS I want, I can just make them very strong with those crafts I just said before. I think the only thing I'm missing is another Soul Sin unit because for one, I thought I could have got that with Hoodoo, but I lost the 50 50 on Hoodoo, which was sucks for sure. So I think after I get Rusha May and very soon, that character from 1.7, I think I have to go for a unit that can Soul Sustain. And if I can get a unit that can Soul Sustain, I basically beat everything i got every single craft that i need so i don't really need to care about craft that i need and i can just focus on getting craft that i want which is nice for sure and then for future video i think i'm gonna show all the stuff i did on my tr60 account that i've been placing day one so that'll be an interesting video if you guys are interested or not for as i said before with moc if you can't beat it don't sweat it because for one the rewards are not worth sweating over or crying over assuming you got all three stars that's only 600 jade if it was 110 for that'll be a whole different story for sure but it's not so don't sweat about it okay you will be able to restart the MLC eventually but if you can't beat it now you'll probably beat it in the future if you put the time and investment in your character you can for sure get your restart eventually and yeah that's about it because with all said I think that's everything I want to talk about for today's video and with all said thank you so much for watching this video I do appreciate you made it far let me know you made it far now your comment card which is to me let me know what I should next and let me know guys think what I say you agree with me disagree with me on this let me know down below because in the day I'm not gonna kill you Man, probably my kill was still comment and we call a lot of stuff. But anyway, final thought is yeah, if you can't beat this MLC, just get lucky and pull all the broken crafts and then you can beat it for sure. <laughs> but in all seriousness, not big deal if you can beat it. You'll beat it eventually, but until then, just grind. And yeah, that's about it. Make sure to subscribe to the channel because I post daily videos every day on Honkai Star Rail and I respond to basically every single comment I get. So make sure to comment and you might get a response from me for sure. And we're all set. Take care. Love you guys and I'll see you on the next video. Goodbye.